Hello there, Chris again. I'm your video guide uh, for this uh, expert packet series. So I've reserved the very last one for expert sign or expert mode. And so um, the thought process here was to create a function block that could be used for anything. And uh, so that's what we have down here in expert mode. So we have expert packet uh, one through six, and then uh, you know packets being sent back as debug. And this was really created for um, those of you that really understand the sign protocol already. So before we've showed you all of this, what you would have had to have done before is what you would have had to have uh, downloaded the MCS protocol. This is the manual. So the AOI function blocks are basically doing all of this legwork for us back in the back end. And this is the protocol manual of how um, we are writing ASCII strings to the sign using the HMS um, communicator. And down here is a few examples of what those ASCII strings would look like. So here's one here that if you want to send a scrolling message, um, this would be the ASCII characters that you would send, um, or you would send the actual um, uh, control characters. And that's what we chose to do is use control characters and, and binary to basically send uh, the characters on that. So let's assume that uh, you know exactly what you're doing on the protocol because you're an expert at this point and that's really what the expert sign uh, AOI does. So in this case um, I have just a few samples of how that would work and um, just, to, just to kind of show you on the packet side of things uh, let's go up here and uh, we haven't. I don't think I've showed you yet uh, the the results of sending a packet. So I'm going to go ahead and send this uh, sign or send this block. And what happens is over here, if we hover over this, and again we may not see it uh, in the screencasting, but uh, it tells us what was actually transmitted. And if we go, to, let's just go to the controller tags. It'd probably be easier um, because my buggy uh, video casting is not capturing that. But this is the actual uh, string that was sent. So um, we could basically copy uh, this out and, uh, you know, copy. Th this is, notice it's uh, up to 81 characters here. So we're looking for a control C, which is the end of it. So because it, the string was so long that was transmitted, it spilled over into packet number two. And here's the cycle time and the OE score, and there's our control C. So um, what happens is the code or the AOI in the back end basically once it builds these strings for you in the wizard in the background, um, it will sp continue to spill over um, into packet one, packet two, up to packet six, and you can transmit up to 496 or whatever 82 times six is. I didn't do the math. Sorry about that. Um, and that's our maximum characters that we're able to send to the sign. So um, using that same concept of spilling over into packets, uh, we can basically use the expert sign packets here. And notice there's nothing in there right now. So an example of that might be, uh, let's go ahead and just show you a simple simple example. So here is uh, some that I've saved in Notepad. So this one here is the green big hello. So if I want to send the green big hello, I would need to send this string right here. okay? And um, I would go here to expert packet, click on that, and paste that into the string browser. And I have everything, basically the B00 is sign 1. Uh, there's our AAA, and then um, uh, I forgot what O is already. F is the font, H3, I believe, is the formatting, and then um, the hello there, okay? So I hit OK for that, and that's the string that's going to be sent. So it's as simple as now creating a, a rung of ladder logic that has the expert packet, and, of course, we've already done the dedicated tag for that. We've mapped it to that uh, parameter set, our add-on instruction here, okay, which is a sign 01 expert and then the uh, appropriate master and then the packets to being there. So if we go ahead and, uh, and send that, then um, what, what we're doing is we're sending what's, whatever's in the expert packet um, into the sign. So now what, what we have in expert packet should now be in what was packet sent. So let's go verify that since we don't have uh, the ability to, to hover over that. So here's what we wanted to send to the sign, which is that. And then this was what was sent to the sign, the very last packet in this case. So that is correct. That's what we wanted to send and transmit. So very cool feature as far as uh, the ability to unlimit, uh, unlimitedly build packets. So what would be a case for that? Let's say that you want to send a time string. 
Here's one here that we can display the time on the screen. So green big time format, okay? And this is uh, hour, minute, and second formatting is what I have here. So we'll go ahead and uh, just paste that into this packet. And uh, now if we want to send the time to the sign, uh, we just do that. We toggle that message and away we go. So now we have the current time, which is uh, 641. And uh, well, I didn't put the, the filler in there for the decimal place, but we got the 08. Oh, and that's just a formatting thing in the protocol. Um, I could have it fill zeros or not fill zeros. But the, the point of the matter here is that we're able to basically throw anything we want at the sign. Um, so now let me show you an example of a really long string. So here's one here we'll take. We'll copy this one. And now we'll go to the expert packet again. And uh, so we'll go to this one here. And we'll click on this and we'll paste it in here. And now, whoops, notice that it's actually 97 uh, characters long of 82, and it turns red where it's faulted out. So uh, we can't actually OK or apply this, so what we're going to have to do is break this one up. And so what I say to do is just to find the nearest control character. And in this case, um, you, could, you could cut it right there if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and go all the way up here to uh, Control F3 and cut that. I'm going to use a Control X, and that cuts it. And now I'm 80, 80 characters in the first packet. I say OK. And now I need to go to the second one and then paste uh, the remaining. So the F3 and then the Control C, which is the end of that packet. So I have that uh, 92 packet, 92 characters broken down into 82 set, 82 character packet sections on that. Okay. So now I have no idea what this one says. It's I think it says interval and, and really big. So we'll go ahead and send that. And uh, you'll note you'll note now that that has um, you know real big total sold interval. I believe that's uh, probably what we what we said. Yeah, there's the word total. There's the word sold, and then interval, and then rejects on that. And then each one has specific formatting and variable embeds um, in that. So some other things just to give you some ideas is you could set the sign, you could set the time, you could set the date, uh, you could turn the power off, you could turn the power on. Um, different things like that that you could uh, possibly do. I mean, really, at this point, the reason that we created the expert mode uh, packet or AOI is so that uh, you could dream up anything that you wanted to throw out the sign that did not absolutely conform to uh, these basic ones here. I mean, uh, you know, we we believe that the one that says sign uh, set up sign very or send sign message. Um, which is the four uh, four messages here, this big block here, should pretty much encompass most of the applications out there, maybe 80 to 90 percent of your sign applications. But if you run into that one special thing that you want to do, and, uh, and the blocks don't want to handle it the way that you want to handle it, um, then that's what we made the expert sign block for, for you to utilize and use. Um, that way, you could basically uh, format it by looking at the protocol yourself, and uh, coming up with your own formatting and sending that uh, to the sign. Now I will give you one bit of warning um, in the protocol as sort of a closing statement. There'll, there'll be some formatting in here um, that uses uh, double dollar signs. And right now, as of this protocol, I believe this is version 3.1, uh, the PLC does not like uh, this double dollar sign here. So. It's a dollar. It's a dollar sign RB2 dollar sign. So to get these extra formats here, um, we're not able to support that in the PLC yet. Um, but we may change that later on. Uh, but at the time of this video, I wanted to just uh, share that with you. Um, so if you are trying to send these other colors, let's say for changing the color, uh, right now we're only supporting the basic colors here: zero, one, two, three. Uh, but these other ones that have the double dollar signs, uh, we're not going to be able to transmit those to the sign using the expert mode at this time. But at, at this point, anyway, I hope that you see the value of the expert sign protocol um, block and how that um, it's pretty much uh, gives you unlimited great power. And so um, as, as with Spider-Man, you know, with great uh, power becomes great responsibility at that point. So hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, application video series. And again, this is Chris, and thanks for watching my videos, and I hope that they are, are useful and, and helpful to you and your applications. Thank you very much.